guys, it's Olivia and today we're at Satori Integrated Martial Arts. Our friend Calvin here is going to show us some cool things. Let's go! We're here with Calvin. Calvin, how long have you been doing martial arts? I've been doing it for about six years now. And so what is your favorite thing about martial arts? I really enjoy doing the katas. That is a very fun thing to do for me. So what kata is your favorite? Actually, this is what I'm doing right now. It's a bow staff kata called Takomini Nobo. Will you explain to me your kata? Okay, so uh, my kata is not the only bow staff kata, but this is the one I'm learning right now. Um, and as you move up your belts, the katas get more complicated. Uh, it's a very fun thing to do. It's actually like the main thing to get your next belt. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm doing a bow staff kata. This is a bow staff. Um, it's smaller than the usual ones though because I'm smaller than usual people. <laughs> what are some of the things you learn when you first start martial arts? Well, when you first start martial arts, you start out with some easier things like how to do some kicks, some punches, and how to do a front roll and back roll. All right, so would you want to teach me some kicks and some punches? Sure. All right, so this is usually the one we start out class with. So this is called the front snap kick. Mm -hmm. And we call it that for a reason because it is a very fast kick. So what you want to do is you start out with your right foot back. Mm -hmm. You have your hands up, okay, but not oh, uh, closed because if you have them closed, it looks threatening. So anyway, what you do is you bring up your knee like this and then you snap it out and bring it back in. And then you sit back down right where it was. All right. And when you do it all in one motion, it looks like this. So like this? Yes, that is very good. All right, so what's another one you can teach me? The second kick that we usually do is a roundhouse kick. Now it's a lot like the first one, except the front foot that you're standing on is actually going to be to the side a little bit. This opens up the skeleton and you can actually kick much more easily. So what you wanna do is you wanna bring the back foot up and chamber it back here. And when you're kicking, you want it to be as parallel as possible. So it is sweeping like this. Yeah. So that's why it's called the roundhouse kick. And so in full motion, it would look like this. So there are two punches, a jab and the cross. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't know, they would actually, you would, see, you would say, oh, those are exactly the same, but they're not. So a jab, say you have your left foot back, your right foot forward, you would punch off of the front foot. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the purpose of the jab. It can extend farther. Now when you punch, make sure that you have the first knuckle kind of pointing up into the air like it's a mountain. And this actually like loosens up the forearm. You want to be loose and not tight because you can hurt yourself very badly if you're very tight. Okay. So this is a jab, so in full speed it would look like this. It's like this. Now the cross is a second one. This is exactly the same as the jab except you're punching off of the back foot. That is, it looks like you're crossing the front foot. Okay. That's why it's called that. So it'd be exactly the same. You just punch mm -hmm. and you've done the cross. So it is? Yes. All right. So what do you think is important for people to know when they start martial arts? We're not trying to hurt people. I mean, sure, that might happen if you get further into it and you might need to do that. But that's not our main goal. Our main goal is actually to keep you safe and to be able to get you out of the situation. I had a lot of fun here with Calvin teaching me kicks, punches, and about martial arts. I'll see you guys next time.